Welcome everyone to your Mercury Retrograde reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you in your Mercury Retrograde. Honoring your feelings. First quarter moon in Pisces. So feeling a little watery, feeling a little emotional at this time. You might even feel like because you have some draining energy um, that's just kind of maybe even dredging up some feelings of, I don't know, not being able to complete the growth that you want, getting the job that you want. It could be a person. Um, so it's going to be a little bit different for everybody, but definitely you're going to want to have a lot of self-care within this situation at this time. Um, Mercury retrograde loves to dredge up the past. So somebody might even be making you, um, feel not very honorable or making you rethink things, right? <clears throat> shock of the new. This shock of the new is really talking about the new cycles that are going on around you, um, new desires that you were trying to rethink and seeking out things that are pleasurable um, and are kind of maybe even forcing you to think about how you're going to take these things on. Um, you might even feel like you kind of revived an idea um, but are not really sure exactly how to say a proper goodbye to certain things. Um, and that could be why you're honoring your feelings. Uh, maybe you're trying to move past someone or something. Maybe you're trying to change jobs, but you know, you have coworkers who are your friends. Maybe you've been there a long time. Things are like that. Um, this is the higher heart activation, dropping shields, divine love. Your heart is healed. And that's just because of honoring those feelings over there. So this heart activation is really going to be that sh heart chakra activated, saying, you know what, I'm really nurturing this situation. Even though I feel like there's this maybe romance going on, you might feel a little more romantic at this time, a little more flirty, um, things of this nature. But you also are rethinking maybe old flames. Oh my gosh. Old flames. What could have been? How it could have been, should have been? What it could have, should have? And then honoring those feelings. Um, or maybe you just need to say goodbye to them and hello to someone else. Um, or just hello to yourself. Um, however it is, it's, it is definitely sparking up these new things. And I think that there's going to be a lot of thinking, though, going with this as well as we have the shock of the new. Because the shock of the new is saying there is an explanation to why things don't work out, but new doors are opening for you. And at this Mercury retrograde, there are definitely new doors opening, but I do feel like there is still some kind of door that's trying to be kicked open that I don't think you really want it open, but your heart is, you still have feelings for it. You see what I'm saying? There's still this peace inside of you. This is, but I still like an old flame, for instance, right? If, if they come back, you still have feelings around that, but you really don't want to go there. So the shock of the new is, actually closing that door in their face and saying, no, I'm not going to do that. That's a shock. And, you know, um, really carrying it, but actually carrying it through, carrying it out. Right. But I love it because once you do that, this is going to open all these new opportunities for you that are going to be shocking as well. So all of a sudden now you're going to see new shocking things coming through and you say, wait, what just happened? Because now all of a sudden you're going to have some kind of, um, sense of accomplishment in doing something that maybe was draining your energy the whole time, even if you still had emotions to it. Mercury retrograde, you got to love it. <clears throat> Why? Because it's karmic and it wants you to grow and move on. So it wants, to, it sometimes it wants to bring back things to see if you've learned a lesson. If you've done this, you've done that. Can you move past this? You know? You move past this person, I'll bring in this new person. And all of a sudden you'll be like, whoa, where'd that guy come from? Hello. So it, it might even be pretty much like kind of relying on old habits of maybe even allowing this person to come through and not shutting that door. So yeah, your heart chakra yeah, is definitely open at this time. And you have a lot of memories of love. I'm telling you, it's it has a lot to do with love in this one. Um, guys, this has a lot to do with the memories of love, not allowing it to end allowing them to continue to keep back because you're holding on to these emotions for this person. And even if you know it's not good and it's not healthy, and I said I'm not taking you back and I'm never doing it, and then here they come and you're like, oh my God. Right? So you're now going to be able to have this sense of, of accomplishment 
rethinking everything and making new headstones and headways to doing things, getting out of the mental conflict because now your feelings and everything are, you know, that are, that are intertwined within the situation are going to actually be working for you instead of against you. That's strong. That's a strong energy because that's saying, I'm not going to allow you to do that anymore. This is a self-care overhaul. You're saying, I'm going to allow this to happen and not that, right? But I'm still feeling romantic. And there's that piece though. It's going to be hard, right? For some of you, because you're like, well, I'm feeling flirty. I'm feeling romantic. I'm feeling loving. Um, but I don't, but this is not what I want. But this is because you have learned. You have learned that this is not where the pleasure is. You are learning that this is not the person that you should be hanging around with. This is not the person, you know, that's for my heart. Maybe it's just one of those people who always comes back during Mercury retrograde. And they encourage you to love and do all these things. And then they kind of pick up, you know, and move on. I don't know. I kind of feel that energy is kind of weird. But this is going to allow you to be in the light. But the problem is, too, that you're shining so bright that you're bringing everybody in because you do have that self-confidence. You do have that creativity. You do have this energy that is shining around you during Mercury Retrograde that is going to allow you to bring others forward. So don't worry about shutting the door here, right? Because it's saying it's okay. Do a little house cleaning, guys, right, for yourself. So that way I can bring other things in. You're not abandoning nothing. If anything, you're bringing in a spiritual strength, right? And the spiritual strength is really there. And now you have a better chance to really reconnect with either an old love that's worth it or a new person, right, that really wants a new beginning with you, who actually wants something with you, who actually wants the intense experience with you and the process and who really wants you. But I'm going to tell you one thing. It won't happen until after Mercury Retrograde. guys. Do not get involved with people during Mercury retrograde. Most of them are karmic. It's very rare, right? Very rare. But, right, this one feels like it could be coming in towards the end of Mercury retrograde because you're going to heal from all of this and say, no, I'm closing the door, but you're still going to get me when my heart, my heart is still activated. So therefore, that just means that Mercury retrograde is not 100% over. It's probably in shadow side. So picking up this new love during the shadow side says that's fine because now I'm going to allow something wonderful to come through. And that's fine, right? I wouldn't get too involved in people, though, um, during a Mercury retrograde. I would date, do things like that. But, I, you know, watch out for obsessive behavior right? And then see how well it goes after Mercury retrograde. Do they take off? Do they do this? Do they do that? Was it obsession? Was it this? Was it that? Was it just a lust? Um, I've seen these things so many times. It's crazy, right? Yeah. And this new one is no deception, no envy, none of the above. There's nothing there with this new one. But why? Because you've already done your house cleaning. You've already closed the door. And this is where the shock of the new is. You're saying, I got rid of the of the old that just keeps lingering around. And now I've got something beautiful coming in um, towards the end of the Mercury retrograde, which is going to have beautiful communication. Um, there's going to be no stress, none of the above, right? Because this is where it's really made. This is where it's supposed to be. This is how love is supposed to be and how a relationship is supposed to be. Now, I'm not going to tell you it's a love, love, right? You don't even know this person. Or maybe you do know this person. But, you know, you know a person for a week doesn't mean you love them, right? Come on now. Let's get, let's don't get crazy over here, right? It means I'm having a good time with you. You've got my heart chakra open and I'm really enjoying a good time. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> because you've got to get past, and for, you know, you got to get past the puppy love stage first, right? To see where this, this is going to move on to. Um, but you're definitely going to, you know, have all these things. And I'd really watch for vivid dreams around this time right here with the light and the spiritual strength. Because right there, I can kind of see where vivid dreams are going to start coming through. Um, you're going to get a lot of a lot of spiritual things coming through your dreams to help you really push through um, this cycle of this kind of a healing area right here to keep you strong and really connecting to yourself and to your soul at this very intense, enticing time in your life um, during this dynamic Mercury retrograde. Okay. 
helping you grow and helping you stay strong. And that was it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye. Thank you.